UAB's late rebound did not perform well in Marshall's unexpected defeat. The road magic finally ran out for the UAB basketball team. Trailing for a majority of the game, the Blazers rallied in the final minutes but a last-second opportunity to tie the game fell short in an 84-81 upset loss to Marshall, Saturday, January 29th, at the Cam Henderson Center in Huntington, West Virginia. Marshall snaps a 10-game losing streak with its win over UAB. It's one thing, from a personnel standpoint, if you don't have the personnel to do it, UAB head coach Andy Kennedy said, we can be so good at it one night and then so bad at it one night. What's the difference? The difference is in your mindset. There has to be mental and physical toughness on the road. Related, Jordan Walker's last second shot lifts UAB to win at Western Kentucky. UAB entered the game holding its position in the top 50 of both Ken Pong and the NCAA net but falls to 17-5 overall and 7-2 in league play. The loss drops UAB to second place in the CUSA West Division standings with North Texas taking the lead following its win at Louisiana Tech. The Blazers shot 42% overall but were inefficient from three-point range, shooting 6, 4, 27 for 22%. Defensively, they forced 18 turnovers with 12 steals but allowed Marshall to shoot 55% overall and win the interior with a plus 6 edge on the glass. A credit to our guys, they didn't stop playing, Kennedy said. When we don't operate properly, our margin for error is not as great as sometimes we want to believe that it is. Our veterans did not answer the call. I say this all the time and I believe it, he added. You get what you deserve most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time. We walked in here with the wrong approach and got exactly what we deserved. With the thundering herd leading 81 to 70 at the 218 mark, UAB put together a 9 to 0 run, sparked by two free throws and a three pointer from Walker, and cut the lead to 81 to 79 with 31 seconds remaining. The rally was a little too late as Marshall pushed the lead back to three points and Walker's last second attempt to tie the game fell short. Marshall jumped out to a quick 12 to 7 lead in the first five minutes, but the Blazers used a 9 to 0 run to take a 16 to 13 lead before tying it back up at 20 to 20 with 7.43 remaining in the first half. The Thundering Herd closed out with a 14 to 4 run in the final four minutes of the half to take a 41 to 30 lead into the break. The Blazers trimmed the deficit to single digits to open the second half but were unable to make a game-changing run while Marshall held as much as a 12-point lead with 7.20 remaining in the game. Quan Jackson had the most efficient night for the Blazers, scoring 17 points on 7, 4, 8 shooting while adding 5 rebounds, 2 blocks and 3 steals. Walker finished tied with a game-high 23 points, along with 5 rebounds, 8 assists and 2 steals. KJ Buffin had 12 points, 5 rebounds and 3 steals but turned the ball over a game-high 7 times. Tavon Loven finished with 8 points and 2 steals, Justin Brown had 7 points and 2 rebounds and Trey Jemison and Jamal Johnson scored 6 points each. The Blazers return home to face Middle Tennessee State, Saturday, February 5th, at Bartow Arena in Birmingham. Tip-off is scheduled for 3 p.m. Central Time on ESPN+.